So now that we've figured out how to import some JSON data, we're going to look at how we can actually look through this and process this. So I'm just going to go through the example actually on this page here. So what it does is it talks about the structure of JSON objects uh, or JavaScript objects. So square brackets represent arrays and curly brackets represent objects. And then these double quotes represent strings. Now remember that there are key value pairs. So the keys are always in a string format like this in double quotes and the value can be a variety of stuff. So what we're going to look at is the structure of the data that gets returned. So if we press this button, we have this data right here. So the f we can see here that the first and last characters here are square brackets, which means that this is an array. And we also have these curly braces inside it. And that shows that this is an object. So what we have here is essentially an array of objects. So we have object one here, and it goes up to the end of this curly brace. And then we have a comma. So the comma separates the different items in the array. Then we have object two and object three. And now these objects also have properties. So we have property one, ID. Remember, prop keys are represented as a string. So ID is zero. Then we have image link, which is a string. We have alt text, which is a string, as well as code names. And code names here, we've got the square brackets again, is an array of strings. So if we look at this, what this does is if JSON was the this this in a JavaScript object format, it looks it selects the first element in that array, so the one at index zero, and it prints its alt text property, which is this string right here. So it'll output a white cat wearing a green helmet. So now we'll look at the challenge and what it wants us to do is to select the cat with the ID of two and then print the second code name. So remember code names is an array and yeah, we just need to log this to the console. So we have this const JSON right here, which is the JavaScript object. So we can work directly with this. And what we're going to do is we first need to select the cat with the ID of two. Now, in this case, the ID is exactly the same as the index in the array. So this object is index zero, index one. So the one with ID of two is at index two. So we can select this by saying JSON, which is this array right here, and two. Next thing we want to do is select the code names property. Now we can do this in two ways. So we can say code names like this. Or the way I prefer to do it is using another square brackets and we can give as a string the name of the property like so. And then, so now we're in this array right here and then we want to select, as it says, the second value in the code names array. So this is at index zero and this is at index one and index two. So the second value is at index one. So we want to select the first one. And then we just need to log this to the console. And let's try this. Yep, so we've selected Loki, which is the second name in the code names array of the cat with the ID of two. So yeah, that's finished pretty much. So. Yeah, very simple compared to the last few exercises.